Hello and welcome to your tarot forecast for the new moon in Pisces 2023. Hello and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Michelle Shea Walker and I'm an intuitive coach, teacher, and oracle deck creator. And I do these readings on the new and full moon every single month. Here's how it works on the general read that happens on YouTube and sometimes Instagram and sometimes occasionally Facebook, but really YouTube is where you're going to get the action at. You will get an energy and advice card as well as a total Betty goddess read for this new moon energy. And then we will dive in deeper over on the Patreon, patreon.com backslash Michelle Shea to get 10, 12, sometimes 13 cards more to really elaborate on that energy. So basically this is a little taste, a little preview, a little appetizer, if you will, for the new moon energy and then if this resonates for you it probably means that your energy was present in the extended reading as well so you might want to hop over to the patreon if you want a better chance of your energy being present on these readings like and subscribe on youtube i know that seems like i'm just trying to game the algorithm and i am but it also does help it's kind of the equivalent of whenever you have an in-person read and the reader has you touch cut or shuffle the deck so this is your digital way of infusing your energy into the reading so if you would like to be infused into this reading subscribe on youtube and if you're watching this on instagram like it but then also go over and subscribe on youtube so that your energy is present for all future readings so we are going to start with a card from the total betty goddess deck this is a 90s goddess deck of my creation and there are only 10 copies left of the original deck so if you want this before it sells out before you have to wait a little bit longer for the printing of the second edition you want to head over to michellesheawalker.com so we're going to find out what card jumped out because it really wanted to tell us something. I love this because this card doesn't come out very often. And a part of me kind of likes that because I cannot for the life of me pronounce this goddess's name. So with a little assist from a pronunciation video on YouTube, our goddess for the Pisces new moon 2023 is... Played by 90s RuPaul. So... This card is such a beautiful card and I always get so bummed that it doesn't come out more often because I love the message behind it. So this deity is a combination of the divine feminine and the divine masculine into one complete being. So this is the embodiment of recognizing that you are a complete in and of yourself and you're not looking for someone outside of you to complete you. So I feel like in the wake of Valentine's Day, we might be having a little renaissance of self-love and a little reminder that we're not relying on the outside world to complete us. So I love that message. If you're new around here, this is what I preach. I'm a recovered codependent, a recovered love addict, and I love to remind the world of love tarot readings that it's not about finding something outside of you to feel complete. It's about finding the healing and using the other people around you as a mirror to know what you need to heal. So if you want to know more about that, definitely stick around. But we are going to dive in to the two card reading from the Modern Witch Tarot. And again, this is going to be an energy and advice reading for the general collective. And then we're going to dive in deeper over on Patreon. So let me shuffle up the deck and we'll see what's in store. So right away, we got very talkative cards. They're all over the place, but I'm going to wait for one to actually jump out. But we got let's we got two. We got two jumpers. That's our energy and advice. Hang on. So our energy under this new moon is the seven of wands. And our advice is the death card. So this is a reading about standing your ground in the wake of a rebirth. So you are definitely coming into a place of spiritual awareness if you're watching this reading and if it resonates, again, Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Maybe this isn't for you, but if you got this video, I have a feeling there's a reason that you're here. You are definitely coming into your own spiritual awareness and that might be causing a little bit of conflict in your relationships, particularly your romantic partner relationships because we are talking about those counterbalance relationships and finding union within. So if you are struggling with a current relationship, if you're struggling to find a relationship, 
and it's all because you're not finding someone who's quite a spiritual match to you, this is a reading for you. It feels like you are definitely going through a huge process of rebirth right now and really redefining what it is that you're looking for in a partner. And part of that is coming from this place of recognizing that you do complete yourself, that you are whole within yourself, and you're not looking for someone outside of you to complete you. So that kind of changes the game. So if I'm not looking for my better half, which is the worst phrase in the romantic dictionary, then what am I looking for? If I can already complete myself, why am I looking outside of myself for anything? And the answer is, you are looking for a partner that is going to be your mirror. And that is gonna be both a pleasant experience and an unpleasant experience. Because when you start to do the spiritual work and you start to call in partners that aren't there to complete you, but instead are there to teach you, you will then call in partners that both beautifully shine a light on the things that you should be loving about yourself. Because if there's something in your partner that you love, it's something that you're either trying to integrate or something that you already are not recognizing within yourself that you need to give yourself a little credit for. Or if there's something in your partner that you dislike, that's possibly a sign of your shadow self and something that you're not letting yourself look at within your own being. This can go one of two ways psychologically. It can go to the degree that you are seeing something and triggered by something in your partner because it's something that you were always told that you weren't allowed to be. And so seeing it in someone else frustrates your inner child. Or you're seeing something in your partner that you already secretly judge within yourself and that judgment is coming out that much harsher in the external relationship. So we're gonna go deep into the relationship level. And definitely if you're doing your spiritual work, if you're having a bit of a spiritual awakening right now, I feel like this reading is for you. Whether you're coupled or single, it's definitely gonna affect your relationships. And we're gonna dive into that over on the Patreon. So this feels like a very concise reading. Normally they're a little bit longer, but I feel like we're gonna go really deep into the cards and the other side of this. So if this resonates for you, you can join the monthly mystics over on Patreon. You get not only these extended tarot videos, but access to free live events weekly tarot scopes and goddess riffs from the Total Betty Goddess deck and a monthly tarot scope to be able to give you a little insight to your sun, your moon, your rising for the month ahead. So all of those things are available over there. I love the community that I'm building. It's definitely only for people that are ready to kind of deepen their intuition and their self-awareness. So if that sounds like you, head over there and join. And if you're watching this on Patreon already, congratulations. The rest of your reading starts right now.